What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I'm back, and I'm back, and I am back. So yeah, um, this Megan the Stallion situation, and uh, Carl Crawford and, and uh, Jay Prince situation is definitely getting it's boiling now. It's boiling. It's, it's beyond boiling now. I want to speak on a couple of things because um, Jay Prince uh, basically responded because uh, they she went to court this morning and um. I guess she's suing Jay Prince now as well. And uh, Jay Prince pretty much made a very, very long Instagram post. I'm not going to read it. It's like very long. It's like, it seems like it's very long. I have no problem. I've read it, but I'm not going to read it on here. But for the most part, I'm going to just paraphrase it. So he pretty much was breaking down, you know, that the fact that he's an independent label and he was giving an opinion that independent label. And he was basically stating to her, because he was talking to her and everybody else directly. And he basically was saying that um, breaking down a deal, like we gave her a good deal. We gave her this, we did this, we did that. And he was also willing to uh, to even negotiate. But he was saying that she pretty much now was like beyond that now because she pretty much stepped out of bounds when she filed this lawsuit or whatever. So he pretty much was mad about that. So Megan Thee Stallion responded. She responded, so I'm going to read this because it's not that long. But I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. Made the style. Instagram. Facts are facts, and the facts are public. I'm extremely pleased that 1501 and Carl Crawford were denied, were denied the request to dissolve the court order and try to stop my music from being released. I will proceed the release of Sugar on Friday, March 6th, to be clear. Oh, to be clear. I will stand up for myself and won't allow two men to bully me, and I am no one's property. Y'all are choosing to highlight the issue of music splits. Talk about everything else. This has nothing to do with this has nothing to do with anyone, including Jay Z. Stop deflecting and trying to make this a publicity stunt. I want my rights. The fact are, one, fifteen fifteen oh one doesn't want to approve my budget to put out my project. That the court is allowed to be released. Two, 1501 tried to stop my release. I prevailed in court. Three, 1501 tried to fight the decision today. The court denied request. The, the court denied 1501 request. Respect my deceased mother. She's not here. You don't know her. You weren't involved. Call should speak for itself. All the facts are public. All the facts are public record available at the courthouse in Houston. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, and I am back. So, yeah, you just heard what I just read, and um, you pretty much heard her saying, you know, she's standing up for herself. Like, these are key words. I want you to listen to these key words. You know, she pretty much saying that she was um standing up for herself, and um she's um she won her rights. And um she also stated that um she's not going to be bullied by two men. Look at the key words that she's saying. Look at the key words that she's saying. She also saying that... And also in there, she said that um that she don't want to talk about that the music split. That's all they want to talk about. Even though that's what they're going to court for, she don't want to talk about that. She want to talk about everything else around it. So you see where she's going with this. And I don't like it. I'm not feeling that at all. I'm not feeling what she's doing at all. And it go and it when I first heard her put out the statement on Instagram and she was talking and she was like, you know how niggas is. When she said that, I knew where she was going. And I'm, I'm going to explain furthermore because I don't just look at situations and just look at the music deal and all that. I'm, I'm not even, I'm past that part. Because we all know that she's not denying that the music deal that they gave her, that was what it was. She's not denying that. You clearly hear that. She never denied that. And they gave her half a um, master's. You don't get deals like that. So she know that. So that's why I don't even think she's suing him for that. I think she's suing him for like intimidations and how he how he how he um intimidate people into deals and stuff like that. Jay Prince and stuff like that. And I'm not feeling what she's doing. This is dry snitching. For anybody that don't know what dry snitching is, it's when you don't actually say it, but you it's on but you insinuate it. You see what I'm saying? You don't actually say it, but you insinuate it. You know what I mean? And that's what she's doing right now. And I'm not feeling that at all. I'm definitely not feeling that at all. And I'm not feeling how she's trying to make it a man versus woman thing. To me, I feel like she's trying to make it a black man versus black women thing. Because listen to the things she said. Like, you got to listen to them key words. 
I'm not feeling how she's twisting this at all. Now, she's saying that they bullying her. I don't know what goes on behind the scene, but she was perfectly fine before she got with Jay. And I and Jay, my dude, I, mess, I, I like his music. I've listened to Jay for years. That's my guy, right? But she didn't do none of this and said none of this before she got with Jay. So when did the bullying tactic come in? When you was, when the dude was taking you shopping, when the dude was doing all this. And now you want to flip it as that you're getting bullied now? Now you standing up for yourself? <clears throat> When you look, and then when she made that Instagram post, right? When you look all in the comments, that's all you see is blue check females, blue check check females. Let's go, let's go. This and that, this and that, this and that. And they making this into a and, and, which which should this should be like a woman. This this is supposed to be a business situation, but they're making it to a woman's right thing, and it wasn't even like that. That's exactly what she's doing. She's trying to turn this into like. Uh, men bullying her and i'm telling you it's gonna come out with black men watch it's gonna be like that it's gonna be as well oh, black men always trying to bully women you know what i mean they're always trying to bully black women it's gonna come out like this because of the situation i promise you that if you go to her instagram page i might show y'all little pictures of it on my on this video but if you go to her instagram page and you see them talk and you see all of them, them check blue check people all they saying is let's go girl this and that this and that women's right all this stuff like that and like I said, women should have equal rights. It is what it is. But this is not that subject right now. She clearly was wrong. She didn't even talk to the dude since August. You know what I mean? So she knew she was wrong. So that's that's my whole point. Let's let's keep it business. Let's not turn this into a woman versus man thing or a black woman versus black man thing. Because I swear to God, that's how I feel like she's doing. When she first made that Instagram post and she said, you know how niggas is. And then now... When you read this Instagram post, you hear her talking about rights and all this other stuff and being bullied by two men. And she wrote those in bold letters. Pay attention. So I want to know how y'all feel about this. Do you feel like I'm going way to the left or you think I'm on to something? Because I really feel like I'm on to something. I'm telling you. I see this from a mile away. So do you do you think I'm going far to the left or I'm on to something? Or do you believe that it's just genuine and she's just trying to, you know, get her money? Or you believe something else? If so... Write it down in the comments. Let me know. Y'all know I be in the comments listening to y'all. And I also respond. So let me know. Holla at your boy. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Also follow me on Instagram at Frankie Hard Work 1. And y'all be easy.